Hey guys, I'm gonna keep this short. If you are looking for ways to integrate the GPU into your virtual machine, then this is the right video for you. The virtual machine that I'm using for this video is Hyper-V. I've only tested this on Hyper-V so far, but there is no reason why this should not work on other machines like VirtualBox or VMware. If you watch this video and test this method on other virtual machines, then please leave a comment down below and tell us if it worked well for you or not. Now, I have already installed Windows 11 on Hyper-V, but if you don't know how to do it, then you can check this video out. The link will be in the description. Also worth mentioning that Hyper-V is only available on Windows Pro and Enterprise. But don't worry, there are ways to install it on Home Edition as well. So if you have Windows 10 or 11 Home Edition and you want Hyper-V on it, you just have to watch this short video that I made a while back and follow the instructions. So, with this out of the way, let's begin. First thing that we have to do before starting the virtual machine, we have to change some stuff in the settings. So, right click on your virtual machine, click on settings and at integration services, uncheck guest services. Then, at checkpoints, one down below, uncheck enable checkpoints. After this, click on apply and start your virtual machine. As you can see here, if I check at device manager, at display adapters, I only have Microsoft Hyper-V video. And if I want to open something like DaVinci Resolve for example, I get this unsupported GPU error and cannot open it. Now if you're wondering why I want to run DaVinci Resolve in a virtual machine, well, I don't. I just needed to figure something out, something that I will show in my next video. So if you are a DaVinci Resolve enthusiast, you'll definitely not want to miss out my next upload. Okay. So, how to integrate the GPU into the virtual machine? It's very easy actually, with the help of these two scripts. I have them both for download on my website, theartman.com. You can go there to the download section here, scroll all the way down and there they are. They are at the bottom of the list because they are the last added on my website. I will also drop the links in the description of this video for faster access. First you have to open the copy driver file script and the only thing you have to do here is replace where it says cloner vm with your virtual machine's name. For example my virtual machine is called simply windows 11 so I'll delete everything here between the quotation marks and write windows 11. And that's it. Now copy it all and on your host system open windows powershell as administrator. Paste the text in, press enter and wait. Now this whole process of copying will take a while. I guess it depends from device to device but in my case it took around 10 to 12 minutes. When it's all done you'll see this text success please go to C temp and copy the files where they are expected within the VM. Which means you have to go to this PC, system drive, your C drive with Windows, open the temp folder then the system32 folder and copy or cut everything inside. Now go back to system drive, open the Windows folder then search the system32 folder and paste everything inside. You'll be asked for admin permission, do this for all current items and press continue. Now you can turn everything off and shut down the virtual machine. With the virtual machine off, open the second script with GPU partitioning and the same way as before, from the first line here replace everything between quotation marks with the name of your virtual machine. Now copy it all, copy all the text, open PowerShell as administrator, same as before, paste the text and press enter. When it's done, the virtual machine will start automatically and if you check in device manager, you should be able now to see your GPU. Now, keep in mind, very important, 
If you update your graphics card driver on your host system, then you need to do this all over again because it will not work anymore. So every time you do a driver update on your graphics card, you have to do this process all over again. But as you can see, it's very simple, takes a couple of minutes or so, so this should not be a problem. And now testing the VG Resolve, and as you can see, it works well. I have no issues with it whatsoever. It runs normal, like how it should run on a host machine. So, for whatever reason you want to integrate your graphics card on your virtual machine, this is the way to do it. Cheers!